time for the next festival. Are you struggling over here? I lost my wallet. Oh no! We're in trouble. We're good. Oh no, my magic band is falling off. Okay. We're in trouble. Why? Because they have a passport for this festival too. Oh dear. This is the first time we've actually gone to long. the festival of the holidays. Yeah. November 19th well, to December 30th. I think it's only the There's second stickers. year. Oh no. How many? We, well Peter, the reason that we were worried before is I thought that he had lost his wallet, but he did not. So we're good on 20. that. There's 15, or there's 20. It's half the size of uh, half the size of food and wine. Food and wine, which means it's going to be half as much money, I think. Yeah. That'll be good though. Yeah. We're going to get some stuff today. I'm so I'm excited. Hungry. I'm hungry. This and... will not have to be an expensive weekend, but it's good. Because we're going on vacation next week. Right. But and a we're relaxing. Have home cooked meals home every cooked day. Meals. Yeah. <laughs> so this is super exciting. I just yes. got super excited because we've never be here. been here. We're only going to be here a couple of hours today. We're babysitting some of our neighbors tonight. Um, so we have a little bit of fun with little ones tonight. But until then, Woo! we're going to do it up. So it's Dapper Day at Epcot today as well. We didn't dress up, but it's okay. It's okay. Because we're here. Because we're here for the, the Festival of the Holidays. Freaking Peter needed out. to wear his Epcot shirt. And out. we're only going to be here a couple hours. Can you tell that I'm still trying to convince myself that it's okay we didn't dress up? Yes. But I'm only eight pages into this book and I'm freaking out. The first he one, already show, called Dom. Showcase Plaza. I already called Dom. Three Kings hey. bread, I think, is what we're getting today. But there's a shredded beef tamale and, and roasted pork. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's take a look at this tree. Ooh. Oh yeah, we haven't seen it yet. It's our first time seeing oh, the I tree. I wish we could see it at night. We should come here for. There's a special illuminations, everybody. <laughs> illuminations. Just the finale. Has a special edition at the end of it, which is a holiday finale. <laughs> so we might come tomorrow night because tomorrow night's our last night here. Here is the new margarita place. I'm having a real, real exciting time in my life right now. My blood is dancing. And it's nice because even if we do four things today, it's like a quarter of the whole festival. Woo! And I know that they have really good food here. Do we want anything from here or are we just going to stick to the festival? Let's do the festival first round. Okay. So it looks like they're not even saying like the actual country. So this is Shanghai Holiday Kitchen. We're going to get the Celebration Barbecue Pork Rice Bowl and Fortune Cookie. Short super, line. Super excited. But, so we saw just now like Italy said Tuscany. Like I think that they're yeah, so like. It's not like this isn't like food wine. We're like this is the China stand. This is the Shanghai stand in China. Super, the I like Shanghai it. Which means like, I'm looking at these, I'm wondering if these are like more city oriented, where it's giving a little bit more culture to it than just China, Italy, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. The generic. Yeah. But there it is. There's the barbecue pork rice bowl. Celebration. Six bucks, right? Barbecue. Oh yeah, celebration. Six dollars. Has a really good looking sweet sauce with the pork belly. Looks really tender and really good on top of some rice. Let's get, let's see how it is. What do you think? It has like a holiday spunk to it. Holiday spunk? I can't put my finger on what it is. I love, like I can make a whole pot of white rice to eat it with soy sauce. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of this. So I wanted to show you like the stickers for this book are like symbols rather than the country or the city. And it also came with, as you can see there, it came with a fortune cookie. Oh yeah. And I think we agreed that like, we think that this was better than the food and wine options that they offered. This felt like, we don't want to say like the other thing wasn't like good quality, but like this felt like it didn't just like, yeah. a lot more like thoughtful. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. So here we've got the little uh, advertiser for Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. And they weren't open yet, but over at the front of the lagoon were holiday shops and here's a holiday market by the outpost. Look at the adorable goofy sweater it's super cheesy but we love it oh so like we might joy to the world it has all the countries <gasps> and it says i've got around the world 2017. i wish it didn't say 2017 but i think i'm okay with this year oh and look at that that doesn't have a year on it yeah <gasps> Same i think we need that too but it's really big these probably start in the evening so i don't know if we'll get to see these today but if you've never been here during the holidays every country that has like their own version of Santa Claus has a or like a holiday folklore right or a holiday folklore it has a, a history and then a stage where that folklore is there so here's the menu for Bavaria holiday kitchen so we don't know what 
I think we're doing the cheese fondue and it looks really good because the cheese fondue comes in a bread bowl with the vegetables and the marbles. Or what are you thinking? What did we do just now? We bailed. we bailed on Germany and we went to Tuscany. So here's the menu for Tuscany and we're gonna go with the Yes, Fusuli pasta. It's gonna be super good. So that was a little bit of a wait, but I think they were having register problems. I think they were training. Training and, and like the register was acting up by it looked like the credit card reader wasn't going through. But we've got this beautiful spot right here. It looks like some rain's coming in, but we're Floridians now, we can handle it. It hasn't rained in a long time. So it really hasn't, we, we're due for it. We've got the... Uh, Fusili Cabanara. There you go. I love fus Fusili because it's... Um, the sauce really gets inside of it good. It like holds all the sauce and the yeah. little, little seasoning. Crevices. Pretty well. This is really good if you're coming here. I get this before uh, Shanghai. Yeah. Oh, this is really good. America has its own Christmas tree. Look at that beautiful Christmas. I, it's so like I love the lanterns on it. And look to the left here. Who is it? Ooh. But Mr. and Mrs. Claus. They are looking good. There's a yeah. Baby oh my gosh. Lamp right now. Let's go get closer. Oh, she looks adorable. Do <laughs> <laughs> you see his mustache? I see his head as much. Look at he's hiding. Oh my god. <laughs> I also want to point something out. We have to pack all of our stuff <laughs> because we leave in a day and a half. And we're actually gone like, and we're like almost a week. Yeah, we're gone in six days. We'll be back in six days. So we actually have a lot to do tomorrow between like saying goodbye to Disney World stuff. Like I think I want to stop by a few more places. But I, the whole reason why I started this rant is because I, I don't think I ever told you about Sarah's life. So I got mine from Wherewood. We'll put the link down below. They're awesome. Small shop. They literally use the same website that we use for our buttons. So like when I found them, I was like, that's honestly one of the reasons why we reached out, like we reached out to them and like bought these glasses was because of that. And they're amazing. Like Sarah's is like real, like mine are sturdy, but mine are all wood. Whereas Sarah's are part wood and part metal, and they're super sturdy. Yeah. And I really like they go like out yeah. a little bit. They can guys have a larger head. We got so big heads, these it's two. It's nice that like, I can have ears and glasses on. Our children. It fits better. Yeah. Our children are going to have massive heads. So here we are at Morocco. We're Terabaki. You know what? I don't even remember what we said we were going to get. Remember we like the sounds of... Wait, what do we like this kind of? I thought we like the pickled onions. Yeah, and, and pearl onions. I really like pearl onions for some reason. Yeah. So we'll get that. Perfect. So he'll, here is the grilled lamb. It's awesome. It comes like in a little kebab kind of thing. I'm curious of how strong that sauce is. But I love pearl onions. And what else is in there? There's like peppers? Pickle oh, or red pickled peppers cucumbers. And, yeah. Oh, this looks super good. I hope there's, yeah. if there's a lot of flavor in, in these lamb meatballs, this might be one of my favorite things ever because yeah. it smells delicious and it looks amazing. Dive in. How's the flavor on that meatball? So good. The lamb ball. It's my favorite so far. Really? Yeah. Seven bucks was for that, so. Yeah. Let's try it. What are these grapes? So my That's a grape? Oh, and there's only one onion. Because that's a grape. I'll split it. Okay. How's the grape? Delicious. It was good. It was hot. I've never had a hot grape. I've had frozen Oh, that's grapes. weird. Yeah. It's the uh, cucumber, pickled cucumber. I like cucumber. Sarah's not the biggest fan. No, I like cucumber. I wanted it to be more like sour. Cucumber oh, yeah. Pickle, but it wasn't. It was still good. It just wasn't what I was expecting. It's surely not a stop around World Showcase Lagoon without getting a nice cup of water from Morocco. There's actually a line. Wait a minute. What's the line? But the line's to order. We're just going to go straight to the, to the end. Wow, look at this. I don't think they had this in 2011. They have this really awesome stage and Hanukkah display. We gotta come here and, and check this out when it's going. Mm -hmm. A great miracle, miracle happened there, the Festival of Lights. Look at, look at oh France. What? 
Enchanted bath. Let's go see. Look at all the dapper people because today's dapper day here in Epcot. There's a there's a glimpse of all the dapper outfits. There's a Nemo looking one. Look at her. That's amazing. This is a disclaimer right now. If you watch our videos and you have not seen Bells Enchanted Christmas, turn off this vlog right now and go watch Bells Enchanted Christmas this second. Because you need to, you're missing out. That dress is amazing. Oh my, look at that. They've got this teacup and it's bow. Did you not think I was serious when I first said it? No, I did, but I, I really noticed it when the Santa's on. Like that's the, that's a spode teapot. Oh, we love all things spode. Hey, I'm so happy. Can you take a selfie in front of this? Yeah. All right, here's the feast of the three kings. This was just like a week ago. Just a week ago, this was uh, Islands of the Caribbean, and it's raining, so that's a new thing that hasn't happened here in like a month in Florida. But I think we're gonna get the three kings bread because we heard from one of, one of you that that's what we need to get. All right, three kings came in for the win for Sarah. We have a non-alcoholic cojito that you can get it with or without rum. So Sarah got that, we're gonna yes. share it, four Tastes bucks. like a liquid cinnamon roll. Oh my God, I can't wait. And then we got the three kings bread, which looks amazing. I didn't think it was gonna be that big or amazing oh, looking. Cherry. Cherries and cream and everything. And look right over here, just right where the Puerto Rico like signage was just the other day, we've got the three kings. Merry Christmas. Should we just dive right in this bread? Like this? <laughs> we just got tricked by our own selves. This is what happens when you think that you know the park like the back of your hand in festivals because we were super excited to go to the festive center before, before we left. And it's closed. But then we looked at, it's at, um, oh my god, you always forget the name of it and I always know it. Odyssey Building. They're just feeling the grooves from the band over there. I don't know what they're called. But they're they're playing over there by their little stage. They're grooving. And here's the festive. Here's the festive center, not the festival center for food and wine. This is where your craft beer was for food and wine if you were an indulger. Yeah, this is the cookie nook. It's called the cookie nookie. <laughs> it's called the cookie nook. Fritter. Ooh, a warm apple fritter with cinnamon ice cream and warm caramel sauce. Oh, look at all the cool Christmas decorations. The tree and the banner. There's a cool um, photo pass area over there. Kid cut right here. There's going to be something over there, but it's not ready yet. And that security guard, our managers had a hard time getting that rope ready. They were super cute and have Mickey's Christmas Carol playing. And then holiday merchandise over here and over here. Is the cookie nook? We'll be back. We'll be back. But I think we're gonna leave. Please. Ready? Yes. We took the long way from the festival, festive center, to walk past the stage to hear. Oh, they're called Joyful, and they're having a good time. Look at that cute stitch topiary. I bet it looks cool at night all lit up. Look at his teeth. Yeah. Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. Thank you for celebrating with us. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Good. Look at this rough hair. Look at this rough dog. He's so sleepy. It is late, but our friends just left. Yeah. We yeah, had a 10 year old and a four year old at her all night, so yeah, he is he looking was... at her. He was good and tired. She had two little girls like good. playing with her for the last like five hours, six hours. But uh, yeah, our friends went home. They had a, they, we had a lot of fun with them. We watched a lot we of Disney movies. Six movies. We watched six movies. I once we started the movies, I tried keeping this one preoccupied, but she did not want to stop jumping and running and playing, knowing that friends were here. But I'm tired now, and tomorrow's like the last. It's like fake Monday. It's like fake Monday because it's like, for me, it's like half real, half not because I know my office is going to be empty. Yeah. But it's my last full day of work before we go to Chicago because I'm not working a full day on Tuesday and we leave Tuesday. But I know tomorrow afternoon will be like full of getting stuff ready. I think we do have to run in the studios. Yeah. And I have a friend in town. 
for yes. the college program. So, so we still will go to studios tomorrow, probably the last park we go to before we go to Chicago. Yeah. And I think we need to stop by Best Friends tomorrow to drop off paperwork for this pooch. Because we were supposed to do it this weekend, but we never did. I didn't even know that. Well, <laughs> we can bring it when we check in okay. with her, but I, I just want to get it done with ahead of time. But, I digress. It's tired. I'm tired. It's time to go to bed. It's good to, good be, to be home. home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>